Ruger LCR and 22 Magnum. Now, I'm not here to talk about the Ruger LCR and 22 Magnum. I'm here to talk about the 22 Magnum cartridge in general. Ha, smoke. But anyway, I'm curious how the 22 Magnum is, effectively, out of a short barreled gun like this. Now, I've seen some videos of ballistics gel testing using rifles and long barreled handguns, but a 22 Magnum handgun out of a small frame like this is very good for uh, very low recoil for recoil sensitive shooters. So, I'm curious how effective it is. So, we're going to put it through ballistics gel. Now, I'm not using fancy self defense ammunition because you can't really find it anywhere. I'm using what you would buy in a pinch, load up in your gun, and just have around in case you needed it. So, I have three different types of ammunition. I'm going to run through this thing. So, let's get started. The ammunition that we're using is Federal 50 grain hollow points, 30 grain hyper velocity hollow points, and 40 grain full metal jacket rounds. We have a 50 grain hollow point from Federal. We have a full metal jacket round. CCI, 40 grain, a 30 grain HP plus V hollow point, light and fast. So we're going to give this a go. We're going to shoot the 10% gelatin block at a very close range so we don't miss the block and it's nice and square. Let's give it a go. That is the only one that was actually captured. It tumbled violently. Here are the other two rune tracks. They traverse the 13 inch block very easily. So that might be a little bit inconclusive, but we're going to dig this bullet out and see what it looks like, see which one it was. But first, let's take a 380 full metal jacket round and see what happens. All right, I have a 95 grain 380 full metal jacket. We're going to load it up, fire it at close range and a tiny little Taurus curve. So, let's see what happens. I can see the track is not that much more pronounced than the track from the 22 Magnum, but it was a pass-through. So, take that for what you will. Well, all right. Let's talk about the results of this. What we have here is a 50 grain hollow point from this tract right here. It stopped. We dug it out. The full metal jacket round actually passed right through there. Actually, right through here. This is the 380 ball round. It left a bit of destruction. This light little 30 grainer though left almost as much destruction as that 380. So, as I said before, take that for what you will. Is the 22 Magnum effective? Well, you be the judge of that. I'm sticking with it.